Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do the look that I had in my One Chip Challenge. I put that look on Snapchat and on Instagram and obviously from the video. So many of you requested to see the look. It's super duper easy and obviously the star of the show is the red lipstick, which so many of you wanted to know what lipstick I was wearing in that video because it withstood the test of time. I hit myself with the water faucet, gallons of water, rice milk, which I know wasn't gonna do anything because it's the lactose in milk that really helps kind of combat that burn. But I don't drink cow's milk, um, and rice milk and water were the only things that we had in our refrigerator, so that's what I was chugging. Um, I was even eating like cold ass puddings, which wasn't on the video. It held up through all of that. So the lipstick that I was wearing was the I Love Sarai and ColourPop collab in the color Arriba! Um, and I feel like it went good because I was like galloping through the whole video. <laughs> this is the lippy that uh, was ride or die with me through that one chip challenge. You the real MVP. This look is really easy. You can pair it with any color lip you want. It does not necessarily have to be a red lip. I'm just gonna go with a red lip. You can bump it up if you want with the eyes. I'm not gonna do a lot on the eyes. It's basically lips and lashes for this look. So if you guys wanna hang out and do your makeup with me for like the next 10 minutes, 15 minutes or so, then just keep watching. Also, before we jump into the video, a lot of you have asked what's up with this diamond on my tooth? And so many of you I feel like are just now seeing it and I've had this diamond on my tooth for a couple months now. I got it when we were at BeautyCon LA? No, Gen Beauty? No, we were at BeautyCon. It was definitely BeautyCon LA that I got this. This is from Tooth Candy and it is a Swarovski crystal. She has a ton of different ones and it'll stay on there for about two years and if I want to get it taken off sooner than that, I have to go to the dentist to have it removed. Um, I like it. I, I don't even notice it's there anymore. Um, but a lot of you were like curious, like, what's on your tooth? It's a Swarovski crystal. <laughs> so shall we prep the face? So the first thing I'm going to do is moisturize my face and I'm using the Tatcha Water Cream. This is my favorite kind of moisturizer to prep the skin before I apply my makeup. As you can see, she is almost empty and we almost need a new one. This technically is too much. You're only supposed to use like a little tiny bit, like maybe that much. But I like to make sure I'm moisturized. <laughs> What is this? Clearly, Halloween is trying to hang on for dear life. Got him. Halloween is over, sir. I'm on to Christmas. Oh wait, there's Thanksgiving. <laughs> So I'm gonna do my makeup the exact way that I did it in the One Chip Challenge video because I wanted to really try the Jouer foundation in the next video because I remember I told you on a vlog the next video will try it, but I didn't use that foundation in the video. So I'm going with the exact makeup that I used because that shit was foolproof. <laughs> so I like to let my moisturizer sink in for a good minute or two before I move on to priming the face because I feel like if you just slap all the products on too quickly, things can end up like slipping and sliding all over the place and your makeup won't stay. So make sure if you put on a moisturizer that you really let it absorb into the skin before you move on to priming. So we'll just sit here, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to prime the face and for this one, I'm going to use this YSL primer. This is a blur primer. So the majority of the product is gonna go onto our cheek area and then whatever is left over, I'm just gonna kind of work around the rest of the face. So I have like a nice, smooth, even canvas to work on. So the foundation that I was using was the Dior Forever Foundation. This is a perfect makeup, everlasting wear, pore refining effect with sunscreen. That sounds good to me. And I'm gonna use it in the shade, blah, and I'm gonna use it in the shade 25, and we are going to apply it with a beauty blender. Beauty blender, I love you. So I like to do like two pumps on the back of the beauty blender, and then just start working this like into the skin. So I'm just using light pressure. What is this, a breakout? Uh-uh, what are you doing up there? I really like this foundation. I like the coverage of it, and I also like how the skin looks when I wear this foundation. Looks healthy. So as you can see the difference, this is no foundation foundation, I have to sneeze. <coughs> Bless you. So I do about two pumps for each side of my face. And again, I just start like on the cheek. I just like to do it like this. So kind of working my way out. So like the least amount of product is on the like jaw area. Make sure you blend that down. 
I think Beebs is gonna make his cauliflower tacos for the vlog today. I'm excited. Plus those tacos are really f***ing good. <laughs> I like that foundation. So for my brows, I've mainly just been wearing my natural brow. I'll show you obviously what I'm about to do. I like to go in and brush all my hairs up. We're getting pretty good. So we just need this to fill in like a little more. I haven't touched them in weeks, months. How long has it been? I don't know. But what I've been using is this brow conditioner primer from Benefit. You gotta be careful with it um, because it will kind of move your foundation. So just use like a light hand and then just brush it through. I feel like it's almost like a gel. It kind of helps lock everything in place. Clearly this brow is not gonna be for everyone. People are gonna be like, what the f are you doing? It's my life, let me live it. So I brush everything up and then I start to just kind of move it all over to the side. So what you do if you have an itch, pounce it out. And that's all that I've been doing. One, it's saving me a whole bunch of time. Two, I'm over the fact that my brows look crazy. Like in the beginning I was like, oh my God, my brows, don't look at them. Now people are like, ooh, your brows. I'm like, what? I'm trying to grow them out, okay? This is what I've been doing. Obviously it's not gonna be for everybody, but I like it. And when I have fly ass brows, that's when it don't matter. <laughs> for eyeshadow. This is going to be the easiest eyeshadow ever of life. I'm using the Queen of Hearts palette by Colored Rain, and we're going to use one shade in this palette, and it's going to be this kind of fleshy tone color right here, and we're just going to sweep that all over our lids, if I can find a brush. So I'm sweeping it over the lid and kind of up into the crease a little bit, um, just to make sure that the foundation kind of doesn't like crease up there. I really like it because it's like a fleshy color. Could that have gotten any easier? And now. Next, I'm just going to curl these lashes to prep them for our falsies. And then I'm gonna hit them with some mascara and I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. Don't you hate when you have like one eyelash that's like crooked? It's like going the other way. You're like, can you just hang out with your friends the right way? So I really just do like one coat of mascara if I'm gonna put falsies on because they're gonna get covered up anyway. And I'm gonna use these guys. These are Christina. These are wispy lashes. Um, I get them from Amazon. Carly turned me on to these. Oh, what if I squirted this right in my eye? And give them a push up. And we have a lash. <gasps> I just pulled my whole lash off. Fresh to don't succeed. Dust yourself off and try again. You can dust it off and try again, try again. And if you act quick, you won't even have to put new lash glue on because your shit will still be tacky. So I'm gonna take a liquid liner and I'm just going to run a straight line. We're not gonna wing it out or anything. I'm just doing this to kind of disguise the lash band a little bit. And since we used dark tone lash glue and don't have a lot of eyeshadow happening on our lids, I'm gonna use it to also disguise any lash glue that might be peeking up above the lash line. Let's see how much better that guy looks and this guy right here without just the thin line. And we'll come back and hit these lashes with mascara towards the end of the look. Right now we're going to conceal. And my concealer is not up here. Of course. So I'm going to use my favorite concealer ever. It is the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm using it in the color Light Medium Honey. Um, when I'm a little more tan, I use Light Medium. But I feel like this is just working a little bit better these days. What is this? Get out of here. I'm going to pinch the Beauty Blender so that we can get in here. I like to take this up into the inner corner of the eye as well as down the side of the nose and then just a light pressure. Make sure you blend really good around that nose area so that there's not like a lot of product build up there. To set, I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Can't live without it. Dab everything out one more time before we set so we're not setting the creases into our makeup. I'm gonna continue to look up and I'm gonna start from the outer corner and work my way in. Coming from the outer corner into the inner corner and then down the nose and then up. And then I kinda just sweep it away. So to set my face, I'm gonna use Studio Fix Powder from MAC. Um, usually I set with the Charlotte Tilbury. I just can't find it anywhere at the moment, so I'm just gonna set with this uh, Studio Fix powder. I'm not gonna use a lot. I'm just going to tap my brush into it like this and then push the product into the skin. I stopped using it for a little bit because I thought that was the reason I was breaking out a lot, but I think it was um, just a lot of ice venti soy chais. So that picture that I had on Instagram when I said ice venti soy chai, that was the last soy chai I'm ever gonna drink because Soy makes me break out. 
And so it's not that good for you anyways. I like to go just back under the eye real quick. There's no um, extra product on here. It's just product that's left over from when we set. So to contour, I'm gonna use the Shade and Light Palette from Kat Von D and I'm just going to use the middle shade, clearly. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do it into the temples as well. Just kind of all the way up to the forehead. And then I like to add what's ever left over to my chin. I feel like it's the only blush that I use and I've been using it for so long. So long. If you're familiar with my channel, you know that I use this blush basically always. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic. This is Sex on Fire. And I'm just saying that I use this blush so much and look, it's there's no pan. It doesn't even look remotely close to it. Um, I just love this blush. I think it complements any makeup look and I just can't get enough of it. I'm gonna go back in with the brush that we used to set underneath our eyes and just kind of run that at the top of the blush just so that it melts perfectly in. All right, so for highlight, what I've been doing um, is just using this Hourglass. Um, this is the Strobe Lighting Powder and this is in Euphoric. And I'm gonna use this Morphe brush. I think this is a 509, but I can't really tell. I like that it's like super fluffy and doesn't like deposit like a lot of color. So I'm just gonna run this in here. Be generous, don't be nervous. And then I'm gonna just kind of put this here like on my apples area. Yeah. Go over my nose. I basically put this everywhere. And then I do here above my brows. And we're gonna take our beauty blender, spray the shit out of it, and then just kind of dab over everything so it looks more melted into the skin and doesn't look like it's just sitting on top of our skin. Yay! So a lot of product at the root, or the base, closest to the lash line, is where I like to put it all, and then just hit the tips. So moving on to lip, I'm just gonna go over this as well with the brush. So I'm just gonna use cherry lip liner, but any red lip liner will do. You know, it does not have to be this one. And then we're gonna fill everything in with Arriba! This liquid lip was not gonna around. So after your lip is complete, this look is complete. I did add a lower lash mascara though. I don't think I filmed that, but I did add it. Um, so yeah, I love this look. It is one of my favorites as of lately. I'm really into a red lip because I feel like it just like amps up any makeup look um, and looks like, oh girl, look at her. But it really is just the red lip. It's just a red lip. And don't be scared to wear a red lip. If you're scared to wear a red lip, put it on when you're in the house, walk around, get comfortable in it. And again, it's just makeup. If you don't like it, you can wipe it off. You can obviously wear this look with any, uh -huh. You can obviously wear this look with any lipstick that you feel comfortable with, but I don't know the word I'm looking for. Strongly recommend you try a red lip. <laughs> Especially for the holiday season, I feel like it's a good excuse to wear a red lip. So that is it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.